My name is Charles Holmes. I'm a private landowner in a small town called Marion, Alabama, in Perry County. I've been a forest landowner all my life because of our, our family has been passed down. My name is Gary Berger. I'm a forester with the National Wild Turkey Federation. My name is Salem George Salone. I'm from uh, South Alabama and uh, I'm a forest landowner. Uh, my name is Preston Robertson and I'm an attorney in Tallahassee, Florida. Well, my wife and I are fortunate enough to be small landowners in North Florida and South Georgia, and we've always loved longleaf. It's our native pine species. Between World War I and World War II, most of the longleaf pine was uh, cut, harvested, and used for shipbuilding and, and other, other different things during that period of time. So basically our farm, we had a few scattered longleafs around, but our farm had basically turned into a, a short leaf and loblolly mixed forest with, with oaks and other things. But even more importantly, that is the classic species of the southern coastal plain. Um, with longleaf, we get a whole suite of plant species, animal species, and these are the kinds of places we want to leave for our children. Some of the trees you see back here, they're we got two white bands on them. That's the red cockaded woodpecker or RCW cavity trees. They're endangered species here on Fort Benning. And that's their home where they build their nest. And uh, one of the trees they like to go to is longleaf pine once it develops a heart rot. The, the planting of the longleaf pine is, is, is a different situation. Um, it's, um, they tend to be harder to establish in the beginning. We've been involved with our property uh, ever since 1983. And um, uh, there's been some remnants of longleaf on the property, but we have been actually planting longleaf since 2006. Uh, the reason we, we have transitioned over to longleaf pine because of a devastation in 2004 of Hurricane Ivan. We had just a few remnants of longleaf on our property and on the landlines and within the property a little bit, but no real significant plantations uh, or, or tracts of longleaf. It was mostly loblolly and shortleaf and some hardwood. That was for us, out of that devastation, an opportunity to look at longleaf. I said, you know, this is, this is what my family used to, to start here in Alabama, and I want to put it back. Um, that was the reason, that was the pure, that was really the only reason that, that I decided to, to reforest Longleaf. Plus, um, in RCS through Equip had a, had a program that sort of made me even want to do it more because I was going to get cost shared on, on being able to reestablish some of this land back at the Longleaf. So I planted 500 acres of Longleaf. It's a whole different ecology, it's a whole different management practice. It was a very big learning process. <laughs> the ecosystem is a fire maintained ecosystem. We burn ourselves on our property as prescribed burn to manage the, the Longleaf. Longleaf pine ecosystems are ecologically compatible with fire and we are renowned for fire ecology and the work we do on fire and uh, in a similar vein the declining wildlife that are associated with these longleaf pine ecosystems uh, they are also compatible with uh, the longleaf and restoration of longleaf. That's why we work with those hand in hand uh, in order to restore the entire ecosystem and bring back the suite of species that, that thrive in that ecosystem. So it's not just about the longleaf pine itself, it's about the entire ecosystem. I'm a lifelong hunter and a bow hunt, and uh, I, my property is, is also my hunting property. And um, again, you know, restoration and the use of fire in a prescribed way benefits my hunting, benefits the scenery out there, and it benefits the wildlife and all of the resources. The nice herbaceous understory that accompanies that longleaf uh, pine tree uh, is, is ideal habitat for the wild turkey. A nice herbaceous, grassy type of understory is an ideal foraging habitat for wild turkey, produces a lot of insects and a lot of vegetation. 
uh, that turkeys eat. Uh, and it also is ideal nesting and brooding habitat. The wild turkey being a ground nesting bird, it really likes uh, herbaceous vegetation and native warm season grasses that are pretty much uh, three feet or less in height. And that's exactly what's promoted in a longleaf pine ecosystem that's properly managed, including uh, frequent fire. Longleaf pine and bobwhite quail have gone back uh, decades. There's an entire culture of quail hunting that's largely disappeared. Uh, a lot of the hunters and uh, that landscape's changed, our farming practices have changed, our forestry practices have changed, our range land management has changed, and with that has disappeared an entire culture of quail hunting in the southeast. Uh, longleaf pine and the restoration of that brings back an ecosystem that was, uh, brings back a lot of fond memories to a lot of people out with their uncles and, and grandfathers and fathers. And a lot of the work that's being done with longleaf pine is being done on public lands, which pr provides a great opportunity for, for sportsmen and, and bird watchers to go out and enjoy bobwhite quail without the competition of, of some other hunting, such as deer and turkey hunting, which can be very intensive on private land. The value of, the, of a of a pine plantation or a pine stand, the most economic value, if you look at just finances and money, is the final cutting or the maturing of the, of the tree. And that's usually with poles, uh, telephone poles and utility poles would have the higher value for um, stumpage. And interesting, in a loblolly plantation, you're going to see not more than 20%, sometimes 17 to 20% pole production within that stand over the life of the stand. However, in a long leaf stand, you're looking at close to 70%, which is a major economic value. And it's a great combination as far as a, a tree species to grow um, economically long-term. It's much more valuable tree because the wood is so dense, you get more for it, your final cut. This is, this is what my family used to, to start here in Alabama, and I want to put it back.